In this video, I am going to show you how you can integrate Jobber to GoLevel. It's going to be very easy and very user friendly. So at the end of this video, you will know how you can integrate Jobber to GoLevel. The first step that we're going to do is go to the GoLevel app marketplace inside of your GoLevel agency view. Search for CRM connector. CRM Connector is the GoLevel app that we're going to use. It's specifically made for GoLevel to integrate external CRMs to GoLevel. So with this app, you, there's no need to use Zapier or any other tools to integrate external CRMs to GoLevel. So via this tool, you can easily integrate a CRM to GoLevel. So install a CRM Connector to your agency view and to the preferred sub accounts. I've just installed CRM connector to my GoLevel account. So as you can see at the bottom left, it popped up. So this is your agency view that you can see uh, inside of GoLevel. From your agency view, you can see your sub accounts, see your integration library, and also see the support and set up your subscription plan. So for the integration process, I'm going to go to the sub account that I would like to integrate. Okay, so once inside the sub account, you need to scroll down and select CRM connector. So once CRM, CRM connector is installed to the sub account, you or the client can integrate the Jobber or any other CRM. So basically with the CRM connector, it's possible that, that the client can integrate their own CRM fully by themselves. So once you have selected CRM connector, you go to the list and you search for Jobber as you select Jobber. And the only thing you need to do uh, to make an integration with the Jobber account is fill out this form. And uh, then the integration process is done and everything will be set up. So for this instance, I'm going to select a date filter uh, from only this year. So this, and I'm only going to select uh, customers with jobs. So only the customers in Jobber that have a completed job are going to get synced. Second step is to get your user ID. And to get your user ID, you need to go to your Jobber account and go to uh, apps. Once you are at the app marketplace uh, within Jobber, search for CRM connector. And as you can see, it uh, is over here. Okay, click connect. When you have clicked CRM connector, uh, this page will pop up and you just click allow access. And that's it, uh, you're connected. Your Jobber account has successfully linked to CRM connector. The only thing you need to do now is uh, go to your email and copy him and copy your user ID. So I am going to do that right now. Okay, I just copied my user ID from CRM Connector. And just to show you, this Jobber account currently has uh, almost 600 uh, completed jobs. And, and this sub account currently doesn't have any context. So scroll down to a CRM connector. I'm going to select Jobber. So once inside CRM connector, I'm going to copy and paste the user ID and click establish secure connection. So right now it's connecting to, connecting to the Jobber account and it's, this can take a few uh, seconds or a minute or so. So as you can see, Jobber is currently integrated to the sub account. The integration is active. And back in context, you will see uh, that all of, all of the contact data from Jobber is uploaded to the sub account. Every four hours, a new uh, sync will happen. So then CRM Connector will look for new contact data in Jobber to upload to the sub account. And this will, happen, this will happen every four hours. So everything is fully automated. As you can see, the contacts are being tagged based on their status. 
uh, when you select a different filter inside of the integration form, the context will also get uh, a different tag. And when you click on a contact, they also have a, have a last service date. So this is the date that the local business owner did their job by, uh, by the customer. So, that's the, so that is this date. Um, so that's how you integrate Jobber with Core Level and automate everything. So basically now what you can do is you can set up workflows, automations, uh, fully inside of Core Level. Uh, so that's it. And by the way, all of this contact data is dummy data, so don't worry. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching.